Hello, and welcome to Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol is the spy RPG made by Obsidian. If you don't know Obsidian, they made Pillars of Eternity, Knights of the Old Republic 2, many, many other fantastic RPGs. But this one, this one didn't really get any kind of accolades. This one was considered a little bit bad, actually. But it's why I want to try it out, because I remember really liking this. So I want to see if it is as, you know, bad as people say it is. Anyway, let's start a new game. We're going to play on hard. We're going to have a little bit of a challenge in this one. And we're also, there are a couple of different histories you can choose from. We're going to choose Recruit. And the reason I like the idea of Recruit is not only does it have unique background uh, dialogue options, which I really like, um, it also has a thing where you have to decide what kind of character you want to be during the game. So basically the other options are what kind of spy you could be. So you could be a tech specialist, you're good at tech stuff, soldier, good at uh, general kind of shooty stuff, field agent, good at sneaking, and freelancer is, um, I'm not entirely sure what freelancer is meant to be, but uh, I imagine it's again another path that you can go down. Maybe it gives you more access to equipment or something, I don't know. I'm going to play recruit. Let's try it out. So we have to choose where we want to put our skills. Um, I believe we start with zero, right? Yeah, we actually start with zero skills. There we go. Um, we will commit that, I suppose. Yes. Um, seems about right. And let's uh, see how it is. Air traffic control, this is Alpha 254, requesting clearance for departure. Roger that. Mark clear. Proceed to runway 5. <laughs> If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. Oh, okay. So we're kind of leading up to that moment happening. Interesting. They drugged me? Mm-hmm. We appear to have a Great. QR code on us. Now I'm gonna fail the next drug screening test. They could have just asked me to close my eyes. Oh, okay. This is kind of us. Everything's a little bit blurry right now. Yeah, that's a little bit odd. Okay. I assume it's just to kind of say that we're uh, kind of just up. Spacebar to pick up highlighted objects. Oh, okay. What have we got over here? PDA. Good. You're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm still coming down. What? Ugh, never mind. Just clearing my head. The dose is pretty strong. Uh, let's be professional. I'm surprised you're even able to stand. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. Don't want that. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. 
Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination procedure here. All the more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. Um, and when he let's does... Let's ambush him. Why wait? Set off an alarm. Let him know I'm awake. What? That'll bring him running. Saves me the trouble of hunting him down. Activating the alarm now. Okay, so what we saw there was we saw basically the uh, conversation system, which is um, it's very it's kind of different than usual, where you just have to kind of say what kind of tone you're wanting to set, more than uh, specifically what you want to see. Uh, anyway, we got a bit of intel there. I think we got a dossier on a new individual. On Mina Tang, we only got 25% of it complete. Um, we have no reputation with her. She's 27, American. She is an intelligence analyst for Alpha Protocol. Mina Tang is an analyst first, a tactician second, and a field agent third. She's been with Alpha Protocol about a year, working primarily in encrypting and decrypting information. She assists Alan Parker on intel assignments, but is also called upon to help train new recruits in firearm basics. Her data analysis led to the discovery of several missing advanced prototype missiles from Halbeck stock, and the evidence she obtained forms the basis of Desert Spear, the mission to track down and deal with Sheikh Ali Saheed. Now, I'm guessing the missiles we that we've got uh, missing are probably the ones we see um, in the future, in the three months past. Those are probably the missiles that are shot at the plane, I would guess. Okay, cool. I think that's all we've got, right? Still says we have new info available. Or I can't appear to go into that anymore. Yeah, it's a little bit odd. Okay. Individual. Select. I don't think we have any new info available. Anyway, that's what we've got there. Hope you know what we you're should doing. have a guard coming in here. That did it. Guess Sleeping Beauty's had enough. That you okay. might. You just hold on. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. So we're Michael Thornton, I guess? Drop your weapon. Uh, let's break open the door and, uh, hit him. There we go. No problem. I think we've got everything we need here. Doesn't look like there's anything else around. Um, alright, let's, uh, get out of here. Let's just open this door quietly. Can we crouch? Yeah, we can go really sneaky. So it says we should go that way. What happens if we go the other way? The other way's locked. Okay. Oh, we better go this way then, huh? You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on the wall. Do a bypass on it. Okay. Um, so we have to find the line that connects everything. So say on this one we have to go to this line, and that would connect all the way around there, and we have to click that, and then on this one we'd have to go to uh, that line. Okay, seems fairly simple. Yeah, I get it. I get the idea. Get it, get it wrong, things will go bad. Get it right, things will go good. So this one goes out here, around that one. Uh, there we go. This will go up and around. And then this one's there. Mike, cool, careful. very easy. They probably have a guard in the lobby. Okay. Let's open the door carefully. You can be all sneaky. Okay, he hasn't seen us yet. Go behind some cover here. Hmm. What's he doing? Just sneak forward. You hear that? We're not here. Ah, there ah. you are, Mike. Gotcha. Well, I think we may have failed that plan. Okay. And let's go hit him. Nice of you to take his gun, but I guess that's not an option. Oh, there's a gun for us right here. Doesn't appear to be a way to go around corners very easily. It's on. Okay, let's aim. Oh, this is very inaccurate. Oh, that's not good at all. Wait for him to reload, then we'll attack. There we go. Let's see if we can set off the uh, turn off the alarm. There we go. Sneak back over here. Deactivate this so it'll go around the top. Uh, that one, that one, that one. There we go. No problem. Barely even detected. 
So we've got a tranquilizer gun, so apparently we're not going to try and kill these people, because otherwise we'd be picking up their uh, nicely loaded guns with, well, actual bullets. That'd be nice. Looks like there might be a health pack over here of some sort. Oh, that's good. Didn't fully heal us to fool, but it did heal us quite a bit. Mm, looks fairly empty. Um, now we can either shoot this guy or just try and sneak past him. Um, so if we can... Yeah, if we uh, zoom in for longer, then it's easier to hit. Yeah. Grab the ammo. Seems fine. And we'll keep sneaking out of here. Incredibly out stealthy. The if they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Okay, what cameras? Oh, that one. Alright, I see. Well, it's a little bit further away. We can probably just walk past it. There we go. Open the door. It's fairly clear. Alright, that's how we enter cover, as it's telling us now. Um. How did he wake okay. up so fast? He just got here. Cares. We'll just put them under again. Hmm, okay, so they don't want to kill me either, so maybe they have tra tranquilizer guns? They seem to be shooting me with guns that seem pretty real. Seems odd. Okay, so we probably want to wait till we can see everybody who's here, and then try and take him out. Sneak forward. Into cover. Right, there they are. No problems. Well, helps if we hit with that. Don't make this any harder than it has mm -hmm. to be. Yep, that, 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 we're definitely not the uh, master spy just yet. Oh, got a hit. Mm, okay. Is it? This could be going better. Could be going better. Right. Let's try taking out the ones back there with actual armor on first. We got one hit in, in on them. But we're pretty low on health. The way out of here. Ooh, get back to this cover. Not sure if that was better or worse, but we'll stick with it. Got one down. That one looks like he might fall soon. Oh, and we're dead. Well, you know, I did say I wanted a little bit of a harder playthrough, and that is definitely, uh... It's definitely a little bit harder right now. Yeah, this is an odd... I forgot how odd this game really was. So we want to be a little bit sneakier here. We get another chance. So we probably want a more solid shot if we're going to take... If we go and take a shot. Sneak forward. Probably don't want to be in the center of the room either. I don't see any, um... Like, security this time. Maybe they're still inside the rooms? It's very odd that there wouldn't be any here. Um, are they just not here? Oh, did they just turn them off if you fail the challenge the first time? Uh, can we use the computers? No. This is really odd that they're just not here at all. Yeah, okay, so I guess it just turns them off if you fail. Uh, that's interesting. Oh well, we did it, I guess. Is that a health shrine? Or, health, is that a health point? There we go. Let's grab that. And, uh, we'll just, uh, sneak through here. Perfect. So there's side areas we can't go into. Now we got you. Uh, okay, and we then we've got a lock picking kind of thing. Okay, how do we do lock picking? Alright, so we have to push it up until uh, this line meet matches the other line, basically. And then once that happens, we lock it and that's it done. Fairly easy. Yeah. So, one, two, three. Comes a l I think this is a lot more easy on a mouse than it was, uh, I originally played this on the Xbox, I think. So, uh, yeah, I remember that being a lot more difficult. 
Grab some more ammo. Let's try sneaking. Any sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Ooh. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can. Okay. Z to ready a special ability. Once selected, use Q to use that ability. So, once Z, and we want to use awareness, which does uh, reveals nearby enemies showing their location facing in level suspicion. Okay. Let's use that, and we can now see where they are. Okay, so we got an enemy down there and a couple over there. That's not too bad. Oh, that one's coming this way. Now nah, we're not going to get a good enough shot in here. Continue sneaking back. Be very, very stealthy. Mmm, okay. Now these are the guys that take two shots to take down. So we're going to have to be careful here. Let them pass. And then sneak forward. Grab this little bit of cover. And we got them. Good. Um... Now, can we move him? Or is he stuck here? Looks like he's just here. Okay. We've got a red explosive barrel. Uh, probably don't want to shoot that. Especially if we're using tranquilizer guns. We probably don't want to actually kill these guys. Uh, okay, never mind. We might be the worst spy I've ever seen. Yep, world's worst spy. Right. If all else fails, run and gun. He's going to shoot us the moment we come up here. Um, don't really have an, any options apart from to charge him. We got him. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Let's deactivate the alarm. Uh, there we go. One, two, three, and four. We did it. Fantastic. Exactly as intended. one down. Right. Um, what's in there? I'm interested. I kind of want to have a look. Uh, hack computers to complete objective siphon funds. Okay, let's hack this computer. How do we hack? Um, okay, so you have to find... It's like a word search. Okay. Um, okay. Well, this seems awful. Okay. Um, I cannot see. All right. Oh, right. So it's this one. Wait, is that not right? Oh, I have to move two independently of each other. Abort, abort, abort. Let's try this again. Uh, it controls really weirdly. Uh, so is it kind of in here? What, what am I looking to find? I'm looking to find this number there. And then this one up here. This might be the weirdest thing I've ever... There we go. We're done. Uh, Spacebar to lock in the left one. Nope. This is the weirdest thing I've ever tried to use. This is... This is weird. Like, it's because you have to control one with your right hand and one with your left hand at the same time. It's just totally unintuitive. I mean, if this camera's already caught us, I might as well just go over here and grab what we're grabbing. Gain some money. Okay. This is the way it wants us to go. What about the other way? Oh, we could turn off the alarm again, I suppose. Uh, ooh, this one's a little bit more complicated. Um, two, three... That one. Go down here. Five. Six. Seven. We turned it off. We successfully managed to do it. So that's the door we can't go through. Okay. And here is the way we're meant to go. Stay where you are. Don't. Stay where you are. Don't. Um. Okay, we're gonna go through the door. That's enough. 
I think that's my line. The hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential, especially if you got kidnapped. Yeah, let's go for fruit. Is this place hidden? Very. Not only does this place not exist, but places that think they know about this place, well, they don't exist either. That's a little confusing. <laughs> Hell of a lot easier than politics. Let me guess. You're not done hazing me yet. Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk face to face. Let's go recruit again. It depends on the tests, I guess. Well, then I guess it depends on how you do on the test, then. Starting with this one. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Although with your experience, it's more like a pamphlet. Fresh out of Langley, we had to wipe behind your ears before shipping you over. I think I've got potential, sir, and I'm anxious to prove we'll it. We'll see. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pen here and meet the rest of the crew. Let's just be ready. All right. Is there anything I should know? Nothing you can't find out on your own and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one and dangerous, but I think you're the man for the job. That is not. I'll see you that soon. is very weird. That video call. Great. Uh, Just like high school, take some tests, then chat with the guidance counselor about my future. Perfect. Okay, we leveled up. So there's a couple of different things we can level up. Oh, we got a perk as well. And we got a perk for professional. You've tried the professional approach in your first few conversations. So we got some endurance from that. And basically, we have to level up what we want to do. So we can go martial arts. We can go for toughness, which um. And gives us extra bonuses for things, technical aptitude, assault, all that kind of stuff. What do we want to go for? We go for stealth, and that would give us the ability to be a little bit sneaky. Um, it's definitely an option, and then it would give us the awareness ability, which was kind of useful. And silent running would also be useful as well, if we used it, because that allows us to kind of run around places. We could go stealth. Martial arts, again, is very simple. It's just to hit people with your hands. Now, I seem to remember martial arts being really good apart from boss fights, which it completely, um, like, it switches it around and then martial arts are useless. So we might want to try actually being good with a weapon. We go kind of pistols. Well, that seems reasonable. Uh, so how about we go pistols and then we take something like, um, technical aptitude, which, will, okay, allows you to carry more gadgets into missions. Reduces downtime between gadgets. Sabotage gives you the overcloak skill, allowing you to enhance an offensive gadget. Okay. And toughness just makes you tougher. No, how about we just take pistols and toughness right now? Just make us um, a little bit... Um, just a little bit more survivable. And then we'll keep our last point. There we go. Yes. Cool. Big ass screen. Yeah, definitely. And that's us kind of done for the episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this first episode, please leave a like. If you disliked it, please leave a dislike. Anything you do can help the channel grow. And any interaction you can do with it just um, helps in search rankings. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.